as we come in the air right now, Hillsborough deputies tell us that they are extremely close to wrapping their end of the investigation into a bizarre industrial accident. A Tampa area forklift driver was killed early this morning after a steel beam came crashing down on him. Our Ashley Glass has been at the, infra, at the Infra Metal Steel Company in Palm River since early this morning for every breaking development. We want to get to her live now for the latest. Good afternoon, Ashley. Idea. And I'm standing at the very edge of where this tragedy unfolded. Let me show you this. This is the forklift, the very forklift right back here where a man was riding when he lost his life. They just came to me and told me that my husband had passed. And Her husband of 25 years passed after a freak accident. Rosie McCallop shared this picture of her love, Ricardo McCallop, with us. This photo taken within the last year at another family member's funeral. The couple shares six children and 18 grandchildren. He's a great husband. He really is. Hillsborough deputies say Ricardo was driving a forklift, moving a steel beam. He hit a pile of beams, dislodging the one in motion, sending it crashing down on him, trapping and killing him. I couldn't get him fast enough when they told when they came and, and knocked and came to me and told me about my husband. Rosie and many other family members watched and waited an hours-long process as heavy lifting equipment was brought in to remove Ricardo's body. Rosie says her husband has worked here as a forklift operator for the last eight years, mostly overnight shifts. He, he just always just told me, you know, he used to have a problem with on the forklift, though, but, uh, you know, I guess they fixed it. We've reached out to Infra Metals multiple times, but they will not talk about this accident right now. Our search of OSHA records shows no incidents on file for the steel company. Rosie and her entire family left with many questions about what caused this. I just can't believe it. Hillsborough deputies tell me at this hour they consider this an accidental death. But from here on out, they say OSHA will come in, investigate the exact circumstances leading up to this death, and if any safety violations come into play. Reporting live in Tampa, Ashley Glass, ABC Action News.